Sonia, uh, in the book you talk a lot about the young lords. Who were the young lords and what was their relevance to the Puerto Rican community in New York? Well, they were college students primarily, and they um, uh, decided to to call attention to the fact that that um, El Barrio was not having the the services that the rest of the city was having, as in sanitation. And they were p part of the. They fashioned themselves after the Black Panthers. Mm -hmm. They wanted to change society, just like everybody wanted to change society in 69. And they went around to the community and they said, what do you, how should we change society? Should we free Puerto Rico from the United States? Puerto Rico should be independent. And all the guys outside playing dominoes said, you know what? We should clean up the streets. And they were surprised at their, their big stand uh, for social injustice was going to be cleaning up the streets. And they started to clean up the streets and put sort of Latins on the map. Now, these guys, a lot of the leaders that you talk about, you don't mention their names, but I could tell who they were right. by your descriptions, ended up being very well-known journalists sure. in New York and in the country. Yeah. Uh, you got Felipe Luciano, Pablo Guzman, uh, Juan Gonzalez, and their lawyer, yeah, Geraldo Rivera. Right. Why did all these guys become journalists and I, TV I, personalities? I think because they always wanted to expose things. And I think that it's interesting that they've continued the work that they started when they were young men and started the Young Lords. Mm -hmm.